What's your biggest regret about our relationship? Are you currently dating or talking to anyone right now? What did you learn about women from being with me? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle. If you clicked on this video, why not subscribe? I promise you it's the vibe. If you rock with me, I rock with you, which means we locked in for life and that's on period. Y'all already know what's going down by the title of the video. I have a special guest right here. Some of you guys may know who he is, but for those of you who don't, my name is Eddie, also known as Westside Ward. That's the YouTube channel. Go follow that. Like I said, to those who know who he is, I don't really have to go into too much. But if you're new here, Eddie and I have been together for about 10 years. We shared beautiful children together and we also were married. And we went through a lot of different things in our relationship. But here we are sitting together today, which is definitely a big step because, you know, Sometimes breakups don't really end like this. I thought that this video would be a really good video to give you guys some type of clarification to those of you who have been watching us and may have some unanswered questions and maybe some questions that I just want to know. People change and feelings change. So we're going to jump right into this video. Also, if you want to know a little bit more about us, we have a couple's channel. It's called Eddie and Michelle. We have pranks, mukbangs, everything over there. So if you want to get to know Eddie a little bit more on a personal level, you can check that out. And you know, there's more on our backstory about our relationship there. Make sure you subscribe to his personal channel at Westside War. I'm gonna put the description in the below. Got you. The first question I have for you is, I mean, I don't think you're posted, but do you feel like there's certain limitations or certain boundaries you don't wanna cross? The questions may be a little personal. It's gonna be an uncomfortable video, right? So. I mean, maybe for you, because again, over here on my channel, I'm very real and transparent. Some people just don't wanna give the real all the time and I respect it. So if there's a question or two that you really don't really want to answer, I'm gonna let you get one pass. Oh, I'll, oh yeah, passes. Okay. I'm gonna let you get That's one like, pass, yeah. but yeah, I mean for them. Listen, it is what it is. We're gonna say the truth on this side. First question is, how are you feeling right now? I mean, I feel like right now I'm honestly just getting back to a space of being me, somewhere along the way, just in life with life. Mm -hmm. um, trying to do the right thing trying to be responsible everything right. kind of like lose your way and i'm just getting back to you know things that i like things that i like to do knowing what that is just trying to stay within my own you know my own zone i guess i'm gonna start off real like i want you to warm up you know i know you haven't really oh, been doing listen. videos in a while you haven't been on the camera so i don't want to just jump right down your throat but the show is, must go on always what's your biggest regret about our relationship Oof. Well, yeah, okay, you're going right for the time. I mean, you say. I guess I could just say staying ready so I wouldn't have to get ready. Mm. I, I kind of I, I kind of did that thing where, you know, certain people get that in that mode with themselves where it's just like a lot of thinking about what, what it's going to be like. Not getting prepared for what it's going to be like when you meet that person. Well, at that point in my, in my life, I wasn't well-versed enough. I wasn't um, experienced enough within life within you know i'm gonna be honest just with doing the right thing not um doing the wrong thing you know me that's not even up for the discussion you got to do the right thing that's a lot harder to do are you currently dating or talking to anyone right now no i'm not was that uh for you or you asking i'm asking for no a friend i'm you asking, asking i'm asking for you you could be real i mean i ain't gonna get mad it's well, i mean, mean me right you're now. entitled you are nah, entitled I'm, to I'm, do I'm, what you I'm need not, to do i'm not um i mean i'm honestly like i said i'm not avidly looking either right now i'm kind of just trying to worry about me i feel like um mm -hmm. i was lost in the shuffle i can't let that happen i can't let that go on any further so it's kind of like it's me time it's not really time for me to um worry about anybody else but what did you learn about women from being with me we gotta go there um like it's like a general thing like with the women wow i learned a lot but what i will say is i guess one thing that stands out to me is pick and choose your battles things that i used to be upset about and argue um about before they're not that serious you waste a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of what could be, mm -hmm. how it could be versus how it doesn't have to be. What would you have done differently in our relationship? Set boundaries for us both. I feel like we went off like limitless mm -hmm. and there wasn't boundaries set. And by the time that we were trying to set boundaries, 
we both were looking at each other like it's a hell of a time to do that. Yeah, you know, it's kind of it's too late to set boundaries now that we just uh, didn't set any yeah. limits. I, I definitely agree with that. I feel like it'll also be able to weed out who's serious and who's not. Because if you do something that you want to do, you will, oh damn, I can't do that. You know? Yeah, like being more mindful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I wouldn't even dare do this to exactly. this person because I know what is going to happen. Do you think I'm crazy? Not like. See? I, no, 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 no. You can't answer it for me. I mean, it's I know. Me. Just answer it real quick. And then let me just say one thing. Can we do percentages? No, I need like a yes or a no. No, 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 no. It's yes or no. Like, don't beat around the bush. No. It, when it all boils down to it, you know, like. No. He's capping for the camera. Because nah. let me just say something. Every time. And I'm sorry, guys, to, the, to my bros that's on this channel that's watching. Every time you guys get mad at us females, the first line. That comes out your mouth is yo she crazy bro yo, why do you guys always run with that line all right we crazy because we don't want to deal with nonsense not, hold on we crazy because we don't want to deal with bs we crazy because we don't want to be played we crazy because we don't want to settle for less okay. i'm just saying are you done with your reading test? I, i'm just saying okay i'm not going to speak for all guys all across the globe because i just can't do that so hold on real quick, you never told me I was crazy. Yeah, plenty of times. So why, but that was the question. But, that's, that's, because, because, but that's what happens sometimes when you just like, don't know what to say. Why does it make y'all like, Ooh. No, it, if I feel like it's adding fuel to the fire and it just really like- What, gaslights? Right, and if you're in a, admit, if you're in mid argument with your man and he says that, it's gonna really set you off. So what about double standards with y'all? Because then that wouldn't make us you just say general statements like well i feel like for guys if we say that you guys are crazy you guys don't really it's like nothing the only time i feel like guys are really affected is by us talking about their man part we're like oh yo that's why you can't do this or you're it's small or whatever then y'all start getting like it starts to, it starts to mess with you tap into the ego a little bit i feel you but listen you know my body you know things like that don't affect me i know what i know what i know how many times did you cheat on me None, you know that. Why we even, I don't even know that. Next question, you know what's up, you know how I am, I'm loyal as a dog, so. When do you think we were happiest together? Watching you walk down the aisle towards mm -hmm. me, I'll never forget that, never. I'll never it's forget just, the look that you gave me too, I, I still see it. You always just want the woman of your dreams, the man of your dreams, whatever, it is, whoever you are walking into you. Mm. Now that she, you know, she's coming to you. Well, for me, it was, she's, she's coming to me and it's like, we're gonna do this dance forever. She's coming to me to stay by my side forever. What hurt you the most in our relationship? The divorce. One of the things that I've always found myself saying throughout our whole entire relationship was like, oh, well, I feel like I'm the last to know. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm the last to know how you feel. I mm -hmm. feel like I'm the last to know about a situation or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then that was the time when I told myself, this will be the last time that I'm the last to know in anything that's in my life. Because my life, I feel like my life was that. So mm -hmm. I mean, part of me at the time, I felt, not, not even at the time, I just felt like it was betrayal. Um, also to boot, you know, just when I had seen that video that you had made, to be honest, and it was just like, whoa, I knew it. I didn't know or I wasn't sure that something like that would have came out to you mm -hmm. because, you know, I have my gripes and my qualms with even what you said. That's what you were feeling at the time. That's your platform is safe. I felt like a real disconnect for you with you. What do you think we argued the most about in our relationship? Money, 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 money. Oh my God, if it wasn't money, then it was money. It was money. I feel like money is one of the biggest things or the biggest struggles or concerns in relationships, whether you're married, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Money is just plays a big factor in how some relationships fail. And that's just how I see it too. It's harder than ever trying to do the right thing be married and minority in America. My heart go out to you if you're doing that right now. And you young. What were my best traits? What we talking about? Particular order, I keep it real, real quick. I think you're gorgeous. Every time, I didn't know that that was possible for me to be able to always look at the woman that I was with and always, always be enthralled, turned on, 
wanting you, wanting more. You know, we could probably blame your eyes because they just pull you in. No, it, it, she's a gorgeous person. She's intelligent. You can always upkeep a conversation. Such a fun person to be you. around. Such that. a warm person, radiant, potential through the roof. I seen that from the beginning. And I loved it because I feel like at that point when we got together, it was just like the pinnacle for when you could like, all right, she's she been waiting for me. I've been waiting for her. So there was so many things about you just along the way, even your growth. How you able to metamorphosize through this situation and that situation and you know, all of that. Just be who you are. Be Thank yourself. You. Because you know, I'm I'm complicated. I'm a complicated man and um just the way you love me. Did a good job. So to piggyback off of that, what were my worst traits? Your mouth. I'll be the first to admit it. Yeah. Listen, we could have left the mouth somewhere else. How do you feel about me now? I mean, you know, you cool, fist bump. You know, can I get it to you? You want to do it like that? We could dab. I don't. Right. You so, cool too, then? Yeah, we cool. Okay, we cool. All right. What are three things do you think we have in common in this moment? The kids. <laughs> For sure. Um, the YouTube channel. No, cause you ain't you ain't been on YouTube. You've been MIA. It doesn't matter. My name is still on that channel. I think we still we still have the same um, mind. Certain things with certain people, you, there's things you don't have to say. This is the last question. Do you still love me? I mean, I just fist bumped you, so I mean, you know, cool. Cut the BS, Eddie. I know when he's lying. You straight capping through your teeth. Um, Either the question is either yes or no. You love I mean, me or I, you don't. I still, yeah, I do still love you. I do love you. What can I say? It's kind of hard to, you know, shake that from somebody or, you know. That's been who you've been with and your main focus for you know, years, a decade. They don't make them like me. I mean, I'm cut from a different cloth. They don't make them like me. Something like that. But um, I still love you. I do. You know that. Do you still love me? These questions are for you. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's a double standard right there. I'm just saying, if, if y'all want to do a part two, and I want Eddie to ask me questions and tell him to make sure to jump back on his West Side Ward. And I, just, and I come on your oh. channel. This pretty much wraps up the uncomfortable questions. How you feeling right now after this? I'm, I'm chilling. I mean, now I'm just thinking like to myself, like, you know, do you? Here we go. Now I'm wondering. Guess you have to wait and see. Okay. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Your girl's on the road to 100K. These numbers is climbing and I appreciate you guys. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all of that good stuff. If y'all want to see Eddie back on my channel, feel free to leave your boy a comment and say welcome, Eddie. Say hi, send him some love. It's been a little minute. It feels so weird. Usually when we on a channel like this, it's for Eddie and Michelle, but you know, things are different, things are changed, but you never know what life is going to bring. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.